you confess with your mouth Jesus as Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. God loves us. And Claude Harper said it wonderfully earlier this week. You've heard it in songs. You've heard it in sermons. We need to understand there are many attributes of God, and, and He is love. He doesn't just do loving things. He is the source of it. It's who He is. But as much as He is love, He is just. And we need to understand those scriptures are pointing out a very large problem, and the problem is that we have sinned, and those sins are a crime against His righteousness. And therefore, the payment must be made for the crimes. But it is a payment that you and I simply are not able to pay in full. And it should tell us something of the severity of these crimes that there is a place that is called hell and it is real and it is fire and it is eternal and do not let anybody ever fool you from understanding that that is an absolute tr truth from the Word of God. I don't like talking about it as much as anybody else does, but it is nevertheless true. But for God so loved the world, He knew we could not make that payment. So He sent His Son, and the Son came willingly to take all of these crimes, place them on He who knew no sin went to the cross, and Isaiah said it pleased the Lord to crush His Son. You ever thought about how much God loves you? Can you imagine those of you who have children crushing your own child under the weight of your fury and wrath. That is exactly what the father did to his son. And there is no other explanation as to why he would do such a thing other than his great love. But he was bound by his justice that he must have the debt paid for. So for those who would simply call on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, now you can't leave the Lord out. I've heard people say, Jesus loves me and has a wonderful plan for my life. That's great. Give me two of them. It's an easy gospel, isn't it? Like that, everybody wants that. God loves me. But he expects us to humbly come before him as a servant, trusting in him alone for the debt that was paid by Christ and the Father unleashing his wrath on his son. And we come to him saying, Lord, save me. And I belong to you completely. That is what is required by the Father. And when we do that, He will impute His righteousness into us. And we become before the Father as clean. This is a miracle, folks. If you've ever wanted to be excited about anything, this is it. Because of Christ, when we come to the Father, we are as clean and holy and righteous as the Lord Jesus Christ, His Son. And the benefit of that is this. When we face Monday morning and we are troubled, we can go to the Father clean before Him and make our petitions known boldly to a Father that loved us enough to crush His Son. So I plead with you. You've heard gospel music all week. You've heard preaching all week. Have you ever come to Christ this way? I'm not asking if you prayed a prayer. I'm not asking if you've been baptized. I am asking you, have you trusted in the Lord Jesus Christ alone in His work on the cross to pay the debt that you could not pay? He will save you. He is a sympathizing, loving Savior. And as this song says, I just want to tell this story.